A hydrophone is very sensitive. Just the tapping of a finger or the walking of a crab over a hydrophone will make a sound for us. Sometimes we hear kelp rubbing over a hydrophone, sounds like that. Scott Veers is coordinator for the Orca Sound Hydrophone Network, who has recently installed the equipment here on Whidbey Island, where it collects underwater sounds and transmits them digitally using this soundboard. That way, we can all listen to what it hears. That sounds like, I would guess, a couple of tugboats going past Whidbey Island. Sure enough, we checked the live boat map and guess what we found? The closest ship is a tugboat, the Hercules in this case. That boat noise is a daily struggle for southern resident killer whales who mostly eat salmon and use sound to locate them. If you just listen for a day or two while you're working, um, or around the house, some people even listen while they're sleeping, you start to realize what the orcas experience, like what is their acoustic life like when they come into Puget Sound. You would hear a killer whale clicking at least hundreds of meters, probably kilometers away through this microphone. It's a noisy world for the killer whales who are struggling to survive. They're running out of food, and of the 74 still alive, only a couple dozen can reproduce. I think Puget Sound recovery has failed to date because we haven't been very good at organizing people. I'm hoping that every time you get the privilege of hearing these wonderful animals um, through our hydrophones, you'll take some action. In Seattle, I'm Allison Morrow, King 5 News.